if you want to build a truly awesome app, the coding is only half the battle. The real time killer is the thinking. You have to sit there and design the UI. You have to pick the color palettes. You have to figure out the user flow. Usually, just planning a production ready app takes weeks. And you know, I just finished a project that usually takes me a full week and I did it in just one day. And I would say not even one day, I did it in few hours. I did not rush. I did not produce bad code. I built a modern neon themed multiplayer chess game within few hours. If you want to ask how, well, Google just dropped a bomb on the developer community. Everything I just described is now possible with Google's new tool called Anti-Gravity. Google is calling this the next generation IDE. And for once, I think the marketing might actually be true. They are pitching this as agent first workflow, meaning you don't spend hours fighting with CSS grids or debugging syntax. You act as a manager. You tell the agent what to do. You tell your vision to the agent and agent will perform all the execution part. Awesome, right? And I know talking is cheap. So let's see what I have built with this new tool from Google. So this you can see is the code repository and I have finished everything from bootstrapping ideas to deploying this on Firebase hosting. Everything was done by Google Anti-Gravity. I just instructed Google Anti-Gravity what to do. So you can see this is the project. Even the commit messages are written by Anti-Gravity. I have not written get add dot, get commit and get push. Everything was done by Anti-Gravity only. And even this readme was written by Anti-Gravity. You can see. And from here, we can go to the live demo of the app. So let's open it. And you can see the design. It is production grade, right? An awesome cyberpunk neon themed. So I can sign in with Google. And this is choose your game screen. And you can see I just instructed the agent. I want three options to play the game. And he created everything. Now from here, I can select create room or join player. I have not tested this part and this is an alpha version. So you may expect bugs. Okay, so let's create a room. And you can see this is the chess board. Everything is working fine. It is my turn and my friend can join using this code. And I can play the move. For example, I want to do this. And my friend can join this using this code. So I will join from a different computer using this code. You can see opponent joined. So I have joined from a different account and I am playing from the both sides. So let's make a move. You can see it is working absolutely fine. Now, if you want to start a new project like this using Google's anti-gravity, then it is very easy. And right now it is free for individual users. So let's see how we can build something like this using Google's anti-gravity. Before we continue, you need to install Google anti-gravity. Open your browser and search for Google anti-gravity. Download the IDE based on your operating system. Once you install it, we will move to the next step and learn how to use it. So what exactly is Google Anti-Gravity and why is everyone talking about it? For the last 20 years, coding has been the same. You open a file, you type characters and you pray you didn't miss a semicolon. By the way, this one was not for Kotlin devs. Anti-Gravity changes the game. It is not just a code editor. It is an agent first IDE. Here is the best way to explain it. In tools like VS Code or IntelliJ, AI is your assistant. It gives you suggestions about the lines of code. But you are still driving the car. 
that means you are coding in anti gravity ai is your employee and you are the manager you don't drive the car you just tell the driver where to go so when you open anti gravity you don't see a file explorer it is the agent manager that you see now here you can see we have a bunch of options for example this is my workspaces and this is playground for quick prototype and from here you can also open the editor in case you want to drive the car but we will not touch the editor for now we will go to open agent manager now this is an agent first id and this sounds amazing right but does it actually work or not or is it just the marketing hype so let's test it so the first thing that i will do is i will open a workspace so in this video i am going to create a chess game that is a two player game so the first thing that i will do is i will open a new workspace so i have created a folder that is neon chess i will open this folder and we will work inside this workspace now the first prompt that i will give to this agent is i will simply ask create a fully functional two player chess game i will also add ensure that the board is centered and playable in the browser immediately i will add more instructions like a manager so i will add use chess.js for game logic and chessboard.js for the ui now i will send this prompt now ai is working for us so you can see we have the implementation plan so you can see it is initializing the project then we have task then whatever is happening in the background you can check it here and finally you can accept or reject because it can also run commands in your terminal if it needs to install something so in this case it wants to run this command that is npm create white latest and i will accept this so it is running the command by the way i don't know what is this white so we can check this out later for now let's see how it goes so again we have one more command that i will accept bingo our chess is ready and it is running at this local host 5173 so you can see our board is ready we have all the characters and i think it should be playable so it is saying white to move so let's try to make a move so i think it's not working and you can see because there is an error agent is running and that's why the move is disabled so what we will do is we will go back to the anti gravity and here you can see the agent is working so you can see it tested the application and it has made the move and recorded the output let's open it in browser let's try to make the move and bingo it's working fine so you can see now black to move so let's move this working absolutely fine can i cut the pawn yes i can so chess is working absolutely fine and agent has done its job but the chess is looking very boring right so let's make it interesting now here before moving ahead if i go to the editor i can click open editor then you can see i have all the codes all the files here so it has created counter main and other files and it is working absolutely fine so far but we will make it more interesting because right now it is very boring and it looks like a school project so let's open agent manager because we are not the coder we are manager so we will tell the agent what to do and we will wait for agent to finish the work so what i will do here is i will ask the agent to make some visual changes so i will write 
complete the visual changes i want a cyberpunk 2077 aesthetic and i will give some more instructions background should be dark and for the board i want neon blue grid lines for the pieces i would like to use font awesome now let's send this message and wait for the ai to complete the work so after a few hours of going back and forth and writing prompt after prompt i finally have it i was actually able to build and deploy exactly what i wanted this neon themed multiplayer chess game you can see it here it is working absolutely fine this is the url where it is deployed you can check it yourself and here you can see i have written prompt after prompt i have told the agent what he needs to do and it was little hectic but i was able to make this nice chess game and here is the crazy part even though i don't have deep knowledge of this specific web stack i finished the entire project and i mean the full package the game logic the neon themes the animations the sound effects etc but it goes deeper than just the visuals i set up the github actions i built the ci cd workflow i designed the database structure and i successfully deployed it all and trust me when i say this i did not write a single line of code myself i did not even run a single terminal command everything was done by anti gravity i simply used prompts to tell the agent what to do this was the first time i truly felt like a manager not just a coder now it wasn't perfect i did hit the quota limit a few times so you have to be patient but considering the result that is a small price to pay i am truly impressed by what i built today it is still early days for this technology but i am excited to see where anti gravity goes in the future now i want to know what you think is this the future of development or do you prefer the old school way let me know your views in the comments below thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye